Hi, I'm going to show you how I put uh, potassium into my garden vegetables. I take my bananas after I've eaten them and I just uh, kind of tear them up into little strips. You don't have to do the strips, but I just find I can it microwaves a lot quicker. Some people um, put them in the oven. I just choose to use the microwave. One basic reason is because it uh, mics a lot quicker. And um, I have so many other irons in the fire, I can't, I forget the oven's on and I come back and, and you know, they're crispy as a critter. So I just put a bunch of them on a paper plate and uh, then I'll stick them in the, my microwave. Put you on up here. I just put them in the microwave and uh, I'll set it on uh, two minutes. Now make sure that wherever you're at, depending on your altitude and your where your microwave set and so forth and so on, that you um, keep an eye on it your first few times so you don't set them on fire. You'll probably have to do it a couple times and flip them over. It takes me about four minutes. I do two minutes on each side. Uh, so I'll stop it at two minutes and then I'll flip them over and I'll do two minutes on the other side. I'm going to finish up on the bananas. Now when you do them in the microwave, they are going to have a little bit of a smell. They smell like a burnt banana. So you might want to turn on your fan. Now, regular size jar, could be a mayonnaise jar, doesn't matter. Go ahead and put your, you know, all your bananas in here. Break them up. They're all crumbly. See, they just snap. Pure potassium is what we're going to be giving our little seedlings. You'll eat the banana. And then you'll grind up the banana peels and put them right back on your... You just don't drop them on the floor like I did. Okay, if you're like me, and you're probably not because I'm a klutz, I end up forgetting that this little guy here comes off the top of my blender and it's always inside when you wash it. Well, I forgot one day and ended up with it inside the blender doing this. So came up with a different way. I take the bottom off my nice blender. I put the bottom and the little apparatus onto this regular size jar. It happened to be a mayonnaise jar. Screw it like that and I put it on here. It fits perfect. Now, you can leave your... Oh, let, me, go, let me do this first. Depending on how thin you want them, you can even feed these to your worms, by the way. And the worms love them, at least mine do. And by grinding them up this fine, the worms don't have to work so hard to, to chew them. Look at this. Looks just like dirt. Yeah, there's a few little big chunks, and I'll, I'll finish doing that. But the reason I did this is because I can put this lid on it. I can put a label on it, I can sit it back here and say my banana potassium jar, don't use it, and pe people won't use this for anything. They won't think, oh mom, you're keeping dirt on your counter. No, I'm not. This is bananas. It's pure potassium. When I plant my seedlings, I put a teaspoon of this in the hole and put the plant in with it, and it just loves it. This and the eggshells, which is calcium, what better can you do? So you get your calcium, you get your potassium. All from things you use around your house. And I don't destroy my regular blender while I'm at it. Nor do I have to clean this thing just for that little bit. So my blender can be... Yeah, I'll rinse that off. But don't worry, folks. It's just bananas, but I'll rinse it off. My, banana, my blender doesn't have to get all tore up and beat up for just that little bit. And there you go. Perfect. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.